Hi, in this recording we're going to cover how to print your SkillPipe digital courseware to a PDF. Uh, you'll want to do this if you would like to have access to it beyond the three months of default access. To do this, you want to open up an internet browser on a computer and go to www.skillpipe.com. When you get to SkillPipe, you want to enter in the email address that was used when you attended your class and the password that you set. If you have forgotten your password, go ahead and submit a reset that you forgot your password. Once you're signed in, if you have more than one courseware, you can do a search for it based on its name or its courseware number. I'll be searching for course 55354 for this example. And once you find it, go ahead and click on it. Sometimes there might be an A and a B or a C version. Normally the class you attended will be uh, the most recent version, such as a C version. Once you're in there, go ahead and go to your table of contents. Go to the top level of the table of contents and select it. And then what you're going to do is want to go to the cover page. You can navigate by going to the bottom left. This will bring you to the beginning of the document. When there is no more navigation button, you are on the cover page. When we get ready to start printing, you're going to be printing section by section. Now, Windows client operating systems have a built-in print to PDF option. Uh, if you are on a corporate device you can, and you do not see that option, you might be able to contact your technical support. If you're on a personal device, uh, you can talk to someone trusted or contact SkillPipe tech support for recommendations. If you're on another operating system, such as Apple, same thing. Uh, feel free if it's, you don't have it, contact uh, tech support or a trusted tech now, when you're printing this, you're not able to print the entire document as one document. You're gonna be printing it section by section. So the recommendation is that you're gonna to wanna to make a folder with the course number and its name. And then as you print the PDF, it is recommended that you consider whatever the identifier is, modules or chapters, that you also identify that along with its section number. You can see section numbers down at the bottom bar and you'll be starting with section one. So as an example, the name of this would be cover page, section one. And as we continue to print, over at the bottom right, you will click and this you can highlight as an example. But please note special characters such as colons are not able to be used in file names. So you could use a dash instead. And you would just keep going throughout the document the title and the section. Now, to get ready for this, I'm gonna open up File Explorer and I'm gonna go underneath my Documents folder and I'm gonna make a folder with the name of, and number and name of the course. So it's along the top of your courseware. So I'm gonna right click, New Folder 
55354A dash administering office 365 again as an example and then go ahead and open up that folder now you can minimize that and once you're ready to start printing again make sure you're back at the main page the cover page and at the bottom left you will see print go ahead and click print it is going to watermark with your name and email address go ahead and click print make sure to select save to PDF and all the other settings by default if you have color options or other things that's your choice choose appropriately but by default the courseware is in a portrait mode and then click save now you're going to want to navigate to your new folder so go under your documents or wherever you decided to store it and you could identify this example this is the cover page save it when you go look in your file explorer you'll find the PDF document and that will be that first page now it may not open in a browser it might open in something such as Adobe Acrobat so you go back to your courseware now and go to the bottom right click on the navigation arrows the double arrows going to the right and you will print this before you print select the title copy it or control C on a Windows device and notice your section number go ahead and print again same settings clicks if you want to notice what it'll show by a default you'll see the watermarks and such go ahead and save and again your choice recommended is to include the module number and the section some courses have multiple modules but not like this one each module is its own capture sometimes some courses the sections can be multiple within a module so save it and then it's kind of a rinse and repeat and you'll keep going until you get to the very end and you no longer have a navigation option at the bottom right after you print that one, you have now completed printing your courseware. So be mindful that your courseware, this is the one way you'll be able to retain it after the default three months of access for SkillPipe.